Hello YouTube. Uh, I got cut off. I ran out of space on my iPhone. Um, so it's uh, 3.22 p.m. Uh, and uh, and you're in the crosswalk, dude. No, you are in the crosswalk. You're in the crosswalk. Um, 3.22 p.m. Uh, it's October 7th. I forgot the date again. God damn it. Uh, I know it's Thursday though. You know, that's something I always tell people that make, make flyers, you know, and it's something that they, something I saw recently that Union Jack did a, did a flyer kind of promoting upcoming events at the bar um, and just tragically laid out. Um, but the worst thing is it showed dates and it didn't show days. Um, and I, I'm sure I'm not the only person who, who you know, where it's more functional to tell me that something's coming up Tuesday than to tell me it's going to be on X date. Because I, I, I know where I'm going to be and what I'm going to be doing Tuesday. But I, I don't at the top of my head without looking at a calendar know what the date is of next Tuesday. And and if you're just randomly telling me about something, more, more likely than not, it's not important enough to me for me to want to look it up on a calendar. Just saying. Just saying. Um, so, anyway, um, I just had the worst postal clerk I've had in a while. In, in fact, in some ways worse than the one that I had yesterday that lied to me about there being a uh, gas station across the street where I could get water when I was I had told her I was frighteningly dehydrated. Um, because prior to that lie, and I understand, like, she's got no way to give me water. I, I get that. I, I, I get that completely. Uh, but prior to that lie, she was an absolutely excellent postal clerk. Handled, handled, my, handled my postal business quite efficiently. And, uh, yeah, no complaints, no complaints there at all. Uh, the one I had today, not so much. And, uh, I... Um, and it's funny because at the end she reminded she did circled the little which they always do at this post office, circled the little QR code here to uh, take the survey to let uh, let <laughs> to to review her and uh, yeah I think I think the postmaster should be aware that that woman was wasting my time and asking me and insisting on wasting my time asking me questions that I'd already answered. No, I have. To I has to tell you this. I has to say this. No, you don't, ma'am. I assure you, you don't. But I assure you, yes, I do. No, really, you don't. I already told you exactly what I need. More than once. Quit wasting my time. Don't make me miss my bus. And then as she was going on on her, whatever her recited thing is on my way out, I just, I just, once I, once I knew I was done, I was just like, thank you. And I waved and smiled and walked off. She was still talking, but... Come on, lady, there's other people in mind. Quit wasting their time. Quit wasting your time. I mean, I, I get that there are employers that, that train people to do a certain way, but at some point, common sense has to prevail. And, and, and even if that, even if that, that common sense is, oh God, I need this job, so I better do what I'm supposed to do. Um, take the common sense a couple steps further and look around you. That post office is absolutely cluttered with signs that say, now hiring, usps.com forward slash jobs. They actually had a job fair there a couple of weeks ago, specifically for that post office, a actual job fair. Lady, get a clue. Pay attention to who your customers are. If they tell you that you don't need to tell them something, you don't need to tell them something. You ain't gonna get fired over it. They need you there. They need warm bodies there. The fact that you're there when you're so lacking in common sense is proof of just how desperately they need bodies there. Anyway, I'm sure she's a nice one. But uh, kind of wasting my time. When I, I handed her the package, and, and I actually apologize for not labeling it with media mail and saying, yeah, I need this media mail. Well, do you want blah, 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 this much money, this much money, this much money, blah, 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 this many days. No, ma'am, I told you. Media mail. 
I think I also at that point, it just it, it, it is casually a small talk said that, yeah, I'm here every day. And, 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 and for what it's worth, while, while that was going on, and I'm like, man, we wasted my time. I had, I had the clerk to her left and the clerk to her right. The clerk to her, her left, whom I see almost every day, and he helps me out, I would say twice a week. I could tell he was smiling under his mask. <laughs> and the clerk, the clerk to her right was just sort of rolling her eyes and giving me that look of, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> you know, I mean, I get it. That's what they're supposed to do. And if I came up and I was like, hey, what are my options for mailing this package? I'm someone that doesn't go into that post office every day. By all means, let, let me know my options. Or if I don't seem to know what I want, let me know my options. But, but my God, somebody that, that goes into the post office every day and has, has some sort of a online sales business knows exactly what they're doing and is prepared. Like, handle them as quick as they can. They got things to do with their life. And, and, and you got a line of customers behind them that also have things to do with their life. Save, save that time of explaining stuff for the person that needs stuff explained. All right. So, uh, yeah, last, last vlog got cut off. Um, I honestly didn't have much anything more to say other than uh, it, it did cut off when I was trying to make my most valid point to anybody working in food service, and that's it. If, uh, if you're in food service and your employer isn't feeding you, quit and work for one who was because uh, nobody should be working in food service and not getting, not getting fed. It's ridiculous. Of, of all the things that they can offer you, you know, higher pay, benefits, signing bonus, whatever, the, the uh, most obvious thing they can offer you is food. Nobody working in food service should be worried about eating, for God's sake. I mean, hell, that was one of the main reasons I worked fast food when I was a, a young adult. And by young adult, I mean under 21. Um, yeah, I knew as long as I was in food service, and, and, and my aspirations were to be a, a, a famous radio personality, which I eh, sort of achieved, I guess. Um, certainly got some worthwhile experience, and I've talked about that on occasion. But, uh, but yeah, my, uh, I, I almost always kept a fast food job on the side because I wanted to make sure I ate while I was waiting that two to three weeks for that first paycheck. And, and I, I, I never knew exactly how big that paycheck was going to be, but I knew after taxes and shit came out of it, it was, it was never what I was hoping for. It was never a lot of money. And, and, and that was me being dumb and stupid and accepting really low salaries that maybe I shouldn't have accepted. But God, I was just so eager to get a job. And the reality is that if I didn't if, if I didn't accept that 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 twelve hundred dollars a month salary, a thirteen hundred month salary, and and just so we adjust it for inflation, we're talking back in nineteen eighty nine. Um, if I didn't accept that, that somebody else who really wanted that gig would. So, um, I also knew if I if I if I kept it up, I'd eventually get into the point where radio stations were paying me a fat salary because I certainly worked amongst people that were being paid fat salaries. Uh, but I certainly worked amongst more people like myself that uh, were just barely making enough to make ends and uh, but were just ecstatic to be working in the field of broadcasting, doing what they loved as opposed to um, you know, flinging burgers. But yeah, I, I, I almost always had a shoot, I, when I worked at uh, KKZ and KUUY in Cheyenne I, I delivered pizzas part time and I could pretty much go into the pizza place I worked at even on my off night and usually get a pizza um, there was usually some messed up order that, that they were more than willing to uh, more than willing to donate to me so um, yeah it, uh, it um, yeah so Anyway, I, I, I threw that out. I don't expect a response from that guy at this point. He deleted his last response to me. But I did. Oh, and I ended it with a full phrase about, a paragraph about, uh, you know, it's your, it's your call. It's your life, dude. You've you got your choice. You can. Oh, I did also kind of bagged on him for doing Uber Eats and paying a car note. He wasn't running his business right. Um, but, yeah, it's like, it's, it's your life. You know, live it, live it how you want to live it. If, uh, if you, um, if you, you know, 
uh, you know, you, you can, you can, you can make efforts to, to improve your situation, or you can, uh, or you can, um, or you can continue spinning your wheels. Great opportunity to use, use that, that phrase in a punny context. Uh, you can keep spinning your wheels, 70 to 80 hours a week, not making enough to pay your bills, and, uh, and. and and eventually find yourself living in the car that you don't even own. I, I think I even took as much. Oh, and I also, I also asked him, I said, you know, when I said that, I said, you're not running. So the fact that you have a car note tells me you're not running your business, right? Uh, what's, your, what's your plan? What's your plan if, if your motor or your transmission goes out? <laughs> that's, a, that's my reality right now. What was my contingency with as much as I was a lot relying on my car for the work I'm doing? What was my contingency should my motor blow out? I didn't have one. I figured I replaced that motor so recently it, it wasn't going to happen, but it did. You know, and thank God, you know, my, my contingency plan ended up being a, a lot of people around me that, that that care for me and want me to succeed. And uh, thank you, Rob. Thank you, Priscilla. But, um, yeah, so I don't expect to hear back from this guy, but, but oh, and then I also kind of threw in that, um, that you know, I'm just, I'm just offering, offering you, uh, offering you some advice based on on my life experience of getting through some very extremely tough times while raising two kids. That straight up sounded like him shooting at me. Oh, man, that shit puts me on edge. Um, so at this point, I'm straight up wasting time. I was just gonna go that Circle K and get some, uh, get some, get get my sip and save drink for the day. And I keep forgetting there's that brand new, uh, brand new, um, what you call it, uh, um, burger team there. So, anyway, a couple of uh, rodeo burgers. Those are the bargain, and uh, kind of craving them right now. Uh, That's where Ruby Tuesday used to be. A good friend of mine used to be a. a Packer here. Uh, what? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Waitress here. Waitress, bartender. Um, it's just kind of shuffled around. Last I heard, she's in Texas, and uh, I miss her. Um, I actually worked with her at my second ever karaoke gig. That's probably 14, 15 years ago. Down at a bar that has long since ceased to exist in Tempe called The Sets, and she was a bartender there, and uh, also sometimes a cocktail waitress there, and. Uh, yeah, we really bummed. I kind of lost touch with her because uh, she's pretty freaking cool. Um, uh, you know, and the funny thing is, is my, my girlfriend is probably still in touch with her on Facebook. You know, and, and 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 maybe I'd keep better in touch with some people if I was on Facebook. But man, I just do not want to be part of. Uh, I do not want to be part of. Uh, um, Mark Zuckerberg's personal information uh, marketing experiment I just don't and this this bus stop kills me it smells so bad and just is always 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 covered with trash and, and it's sad because I mean the money that was spent on this by the city is, I would imagine pretty substantial because it's a uh, very very decorative it's a nice public art install it would be a nice public art installation if city also had the budget to, to keep it clean but uh, actually at one time I uh, brought my daughter down here for sort of a life lesson uh, my daughter Lily younger daughter uh, we had she had homework to do and I think I was going through a period of carlessness myself so we, we were in this area for transit reasons and we uh, wanted to give her an idea to see just give her a let her let her see what happens to people who don't make an effort in school and how they live and and we sat here for a while and we worked on our homework here because it was a nice day and we actually figured out a creative way to play checkers on on that and it was uh, it was a fun it was fun I, think. I hope it was a good life lesson for her um, this, uh, yeah this this intersection here 44th Street in Washington and 44th Street in Van Buren, and the space between has become a real, uh, as, you, as you can see, a real, um, 
major gathering place for uh, for the homeless. Uh, I don't know if I caught it on a video, but I did see a guy that was walking in front of the other Circle K um, with the squeegee. I assume he's trying to trying to wash people's windshields for a couple of bucks. I, you know, part of me appreciates that hustle, and part of me is just like, dude, back the fuck away from my windshield. Yeah, I don't feel like walking near a near a pit bull. Yeah, that, I walked by that bus bench that has a huge, looks like a straight up homeless encampment right behind it again. I don't know if y'all, I hope y'all saw that. I'm gonna try to time mark that in the comment section. Um, it's, uh, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I admit, it's getting a little unnerving. And I wonder what they think when they see me walking by talking to open the smartphone. I'm sure they know they're getting on camera. Meanwhile, meanwhile, right behind, we have new luxury apartments, now leasing. And I can only imagine what that sells for. Oh, and I got a cop. <laughs> How you doing, cop? Now leasing, I can only imagine what that sells, what those lease for. Oh, it's kind of tempting to go to Panera Bread, but, uh, ooh, Bosa Donuts. Nice. Actually, it doesn't look like Panera Bread's open yet. Oh wait, no, it's gonna be a barber shop. It's like a high-end barber shop going in there. Some slices, stack map. Yeah, it looks it looks like this. That's Panera Bread. There's three businesses in that little, little tiny strip mall thing there. Yeah, Panera Bread's tempting. Uh, to I can get my money a little more right, a little out of my budget though. So I'm gonna go over here to the home of the Whopper and uh, either do a two for six or, or maybe get a couple of the little rodeo cheeseburgers because I think those are on the dollar menu. And uh, and all this will be fine. As I've got better things to do than whine on Reddit about how bad my situation is while uh, not making any efforts to uh, to fix it.